Hi, welcome to Maya's world. All right, y'all, I'm really happy with the responses in the last video. Like, I'm so happy that y'all agree with me when talking about like colorist men and the people who date them. And I'm very thankful for my patrons for helping me decide the topic. Today's topic isn't gonna be a long one, but it's something that I was thinking about yesterday that I really wanna talk about. But before I continue, if you're new to my channel, hi. Hi, my name is Mayowa. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you like. <laughs> and give me like thumbs up. If you want more to hear more discussions, I have like a weekly catch up on my Patreon, which I'll put the information here. Today I was really feeling orange. You can't see my bottom, but I'm wearing like a bright orange skirt because I'm feeling very like orange and pink, and I have done pretty orange makeup. But today, anyway, I'm I want to talk about something that I noticed within colorism and biopics because. Yesterday I was thinking about how like whenever dark skin non-men, dark skin marginalized people have biopics made on their life, like the when they're black, I'm only talking about black movies, the colorism is so rampant because I noticed that when it's like okay, whenever there's like a woman and I just when I'm like doing research on colorism work, I just like to see how deep things are because I realize that like there are very few famous actresses who are deep dark skin. Like the only one that comes to my head, the only two that comes to my head is Lupita and Viola. And I know there are people like darker than both of those actresses. And you know within colorism, like it's a spectrum. So I'm somebody who I am on the lighter spectrum of being dark skin and there are people who are deep dark skin and the way I will be treated will be vastly different than also how someone deep dark skin is treated because colorism has gradations. And I was thinking about how like the one biopic that I'm gonna talk about this to the end of me because I feel like there is no amount of apologies that will ever be enough. But when I think about what happened with Nina Simone's biopic and how they got Zoe Saldana to play Nina Simone, to wear a fat suit, to darken her skin, to just, it just... And then, you know, she had the audacity to give also a very weak apology where she centered herself and cried as she was centering herself. But I also, I was silent because I'm never going to justify or explain my blackness. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know who I am. I ha I do not have a problem with that. I don't hate myself for being black. I don't think I'm privileged for being lighter. I wasn't raised with lighter, lightest, light terse. I, I don't understand. Do you understand what I'm uh -huh. saying? My it's you know, growing. It's painful. I thought back then that I thought back then that I I was I, I, I had I had the permission because I was a black woman. And I am, but I, but it was Nina Simone. And Nina had a life and she had a journey that should have been, and it should be honored. Also, I just want to point out that even when Zoe Saldana apologized, sorry, this is like the post. Even when she apologized, she never once mentioned colorism. She never once mentioned that her taking a role meant for a dark skin. She didn't call Nina Simone dark skin. She called Nina Simone, Nina Simone. Even when her taking that role, as a dark skin person, you need to mention the harm that you did. Don't just say that she she's incredible. Like you, my mommy, madame, you were the one who took that role. You need to ask yourself, why did it take you four years to apologize? Me, I said, I don't accept that apology because she didn't speak about colorism. And I just think about how like, when it comes to dark skin women in biopics, like people are so comfortable to put lighter skin people, whether it be slight differences between you get somebody who's dark skin and you get a brown skin actress to play them whenever it's women, or you get uh, somebody who is brown skin and you get a light skin person to play them. Like there's always this lightning that typically happens <clears throat> within biopics, but with men, it can definitely go the other way because you know what biopic I was thinking about, the one that I think most people like is the biopic of Malcolm X and how they just had Denzel Washington play Malcolm X so comfortably like Malcolm X is so fair I felt like in a retelling of Malcolm X's life they wanted they were comfortable with him seeing brown skin because I feel like 
it fits this image of you know if the darker your skin is the more you are seen as masculine as Denzel Washington a brown skin person him being in a pro-black position is still going to make him Malcolm X seem like it fits this like pro-black imagery but I feel like it's it was it would have been important to cast realistically in that in all circumstances but definitely in that one discussions about how whenever like there's an image of like pro-blackness they always want to use dark-skinned people um at the forefront but then whenever it's like things like softness things like vulnerability things like um just like anything in between it's the erasure the erasure um, particularly dark-skinned non-men because the way that like dark-skinned non-men experience colorism is completely different like and that's why i always focus on that because anyway so i was just thinking about how like the comparison of how nina simone and how like if 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 and when beyonce has a biopic sometime in the future like imagine if they had someone who was like normani's complexion to play Beyonce, like people will be up in arms. And like, that's something that I wanted to point out. I was like, you never see it go the other way. You never see a light skinned person get replaced with a dark skinned person for like, as a woman for their biopics, right? And I feel like people couldn't even see the comparison. Like I've done drag a few times and I've noticed that whenever like people do drag as like a light, okay, whenever a dark skin person does drag as a light skin character, I think people like don't see the, they like cannot see the comparison kind of thing. But then whenever light skin people do drag as a darker skin character, like I think people can see, and I think it's something has to do with like the ways in which like light skin is allowed to be like imaginative and being dark skin is almost like people think of it as like a fixed, like there can be no ambiguity, there can be no like, I don't know, there's something in there. When I just was also thinking about how like a lot of times dark skinned people like or brown skinned people have actively chosen to want light skinned people to play them in biopics. Like I remember when, um, what is her name? The gymnast. She said in an interview that if she could do a biopic, she wanted Zendaya to play her. Zendaya child, like that girl. Anyway, be taking all the colorist ass. I, I mean, I know she hasn't taken that role, but I wouldn't be surprised she took it. It's also this thing of just like when you reimagine yourself and like when you think of who you like, who you want to be. Like, I just think that's interesting about like the reimagining of self to be not actually what you look like. I also just wanted to point out that I remember when Lil Kim was talking about wanting her biopic done and someone had suggested that Naturi plays her. I'll show a picture of her. Lil' Kim was like, mm, absolutely not, and then she said she wants Tiana Taylor. But this is an example I mean by when somebody wants, when there's an example of somebody darker playing this person, it's a no, it's a chop. I am jumping, but another biopic I wanted to quickly mention was like, I saw that they were doing a biopic on like Venus and Serena's dad, and they got like Will Smith to play the dad, and Will Smith is like light skin and the dad is dark skin. And in a lot of the shots that they have of Will Smith playing the dad, he's like, dim he's like backlit often like and i feel like they're doing it to make him look darker and i feel like it's interesting how light-skinned people can kind of like stretch their roles instead of them just appropriately casting somebody who is dark skin they would rather have a light-skinned person to play that and once again i have never seen a single movie where there is a movie about a light-skinned woman and she's being replaced by a dark-skinned girl so I just think, and also the whole concept of biopics, like I've heard, like, I don't know how I feel about them because it seems like biopics are really often violent for like black people with how they retell. Like, I feel like I've heard so many stories about the families not being happy. And I think there could be nothing worse than telling someone's life and telling it incorrectly. And something about them not being able to be there to kind of A-OK -okay things and how a lot of times it's not even done with like consent of the, the people in their lives. Like, I don't know. I feel like some part of me feels like biopics should actually just kind of end. I love to watch biopics, but I just don't, I also don't spiritually feel good knowing that they are incorrectly telling someone's life and they're fabricating so much. Like when I found out that like Harriet Tubman's like biopic or little movie you had so much fabrication especially like leaning towards like white like making it seem like whiteness has been so helpful for like harriet and in actuality these things didn't happen in real life like something about how biopics and like the person telling the story is very gross um so i feel like we probably should end like telling people's lives without their consent telling people's life stories but unless they themselves have kind of like laid out like a portion but, and also something about like putting a life in an hour and a half movie is bizarre. But 
these are all complex things like I really enjoy talking about pop culture and the and the things I notice within like colorism because it's rampant it's everywhere and I think pop culture gives like a really good insight to see like also interpersonal relationships and how we are because as dark skinned people like there's very few people that we can like dress up for as for Halloween like dark skinned non-men and even harder for deep dark skinned people like I challenge y'all to think can you name any like super world famous deep dark skinned non-men I'm talking about people who are like Lupita's complexion Gabrielle Sidibe's complexion and darker like I can't name more than say five and I think that's really telling and um yeah so that's all I wanted to say I hope y'all having a good week and I'll come back with another video in a couple days. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!